This is an updated video because a lot of the, the Oxford and the Pearson textbook and the exams all seem to use different sets of terminology. So I've had to combine uh, that and various other uh, sources to try and give you a sort of better, better, more full picture. So the syllabus goes for uh, structural. Uh, it seems like constitutional is uh, a little bit more popular on the internet. Um, and the structural uh, has many different forms. Uh, but the syllabus says it won't allow for uh, cycloalkanes uh, and it won't um, ask for anything more than greater than six carbons. Uh, sometimes you'll see uh, chain uh, isomers, which is uh, an example here. So it, uh, isomers have the same molecular formula but different arrangement of atoms. Now they have, uh, for structural, it's the same molecular form, different structural formula. So the chain uh, is a different thing here. Uh, if you see the word positional, it means there's a functional group uh, that is, uh, maybe it's over here, uh, ketone, and now it's moved over to here. So these two have swapped around uh, here so that the functional group is in a different position. If it's a functional isomer, then it, uh, say if it's over here, it's now an aldehyde rather than over here. Uh, and you can have uh, various alcohols moving around. So that could have been a carboxylic acid. And now it's an aldehyde with an alcohol at the end. Uh, and so that's functional. There are a number of others. Uh, as you can see from this diagram, there are many, many terms for isomers. But uh, we'll just stick to this grouping here that also has many names. Okay, so... When we start, we'll leave that uh, structural formula there because that is uh, fairly straightforward. Basically, you can do whatever you want with the atoms you've got to create new structures. So uh, then we go to stereo, where it's actually the same molecular and structural formulas. Um, atoms actually, uh, in single bonds, the carbon can actually rotate. So if there's no H there and a H there, uh, these can go up and down and just rotate around this bond here. Uh, that one's not dealt with. Uh, when there's no bond rotation, uh, surprisingly, we don't have chiral carbons, optical isomers, nantomers. Uh, this is important for amino acids where you have uh, four different groups. I'll just write one, two, three, four in here. And they're sort of mirror images of each other. Uh, this is extremely important for, uh, uh, for sugar groups as well as amino acids uh, because they are just completely not functional um, if they are uh, in the mirror, the left or the right, depending on which one it is, if there's a mirror here. I uh, say so it's like a left hand and right hand group there. Uh, the other trick here too is uh, the one that is in the syllabus, the other one is geometrical, uh, which is also di diastereomers. Hopefully they won't use that word. The trick in the problem with this one, uh, I'm seeing a lot of questions where there is uh, a C, X, X, Y, Z, where there's three or more groups and that is not a cis-trans isomer. There, there's a different naming system for that uh, easy system. Um, hopefully they won't uh, do that to you. If they do, um, follow a little bit of the rules of the easy system. Take the two most significant groups uh, and then base your... Uh, cis trans on that. So I'll go to the next slide to, to talk more about that because that's the second major thing. Um, so if there are, if it's a double bond, it can't rotate, they're stuck. And so these two are different compounds. Uh, and so we'll look at the cis trans in these slides here. Uh, so cis trans, if it's on the same side according to uh, this picture, um, then that's cis. Now you can't have it, if I go to the next slide again, you can't have this as a cis trans because you just flip the molecule around. So being on the same side doesn't count for that area. All right, so being on the same side only counts for this area because they're locked in position and they can't convert to this, which is on the opposite side, which is trans. Okay, uh, and that's how you name them here. So this is just a repeat with a clearer structural formula here. So cis dash butuene, trans dash butuene. Um, the cyclic compounds we're not covering, um, but just to be aware of them. And the last thing we need to do is uh, just consider the uh, boiling points. Uh, say if these were alcohol groups here, um, these uh, ends here may interact with each other. Uh, and so that wouldn't cause as much intermolecular bonding. Uh, when they're opposite sides of each other, they have a much better chance of interacting uh, with each other 
Uh, sometimes they call them dimers uh, because they link up as, as pairs, but um, it's a lot more complicated than that. They'll, uh, they'll be interlinking between many. Uh, and so the sticky ends are far more accessible to other similar compounds, so that will increase the melting boiling points.